on our way home driving through New York and it is, is this freezing rain? Just rain, freezing rain, hail. What a weird day. The weather in its entirety is weird. I said we were going to do all our videos today, but it makes no sense to do two-year-olds or the opening tomorrow until we've gone with the horses in Ontario. So I'm going to do the three-year-olds and the four-year-olds right now. I want to talk about the race horses first. Uh, we're going to start with Brace for Landing. You know, I, I talked about him the other day. I couldn't really put my finger on what was going on with him. Bumpy coming off the car. It could have been the flip-flops. I hope it wasn't because he races good in it generally speaking, and uh, what I had said was maybe he had tied up and tightened up a little bit on the, sh on the ship down to Kentucky. Obviously, we're talking with freezing rain. It was shirts and flip-flops, shirts and shorts and flip-flops the other day, 25 Celsius, 80 almost, I think, Fahrenheit when we were in Kentucky. So the transition itself, weather-wise, is intense. It's a lot. And then in the summer, it gets crazy hot. So was it that? Was it the shoeing? I don't know. He finished up his mile real strong. I just had him real wrapped up uh, going through the wire, 28-1 on the end of it. Now he's in the open two, they call it. And in with him, I had another drive in that race, and it was three point, I never even, have I even driven three point blue chip in the Fairview Trail race? I was down to drive three point blue chip for Julie and Andy Miller uh, and us this week, but I can't drive a winter drive race for Landy. Um, Excited to continue to get this guy to race. You know, we've always had trouble putting, he's a lean horse, we've always had trouble putting weight on him, but Kathy runs a bit of a fat farm down there, and they always seem to they always seem to pick up their weight, and I just think that this is a good spot for Brace for Landing to be in, and I'm, I'm eager. Uh, I suspect this summer's going to go Oak Grove. I don't know whether it's going to be the Meadows or Sciota, one or the other. And then he'll finish up in Corbin. That's my plan with uh, with Bryce. Might even go to Indiana. Yeah, the overheads go for nothing. There. There's no point bringing him there. So anyway, uh, Bryce for landing. A good start to the season. What did he, what did he trot the other day? 56 and 4, 28 and 1 at the end of it. On a, and it was just teeming rain, like monsoon. What's that? I thought they were going to cancel for sure too. I think they thought they were going to cancel. They just didn't. So Bryce for landing. Um, a great mile from him. Could have been better. Much like the next horse, Collector. Been out a long way his last two. Bumpy at times, but and he finished second and third in his first two outings in that series. Final coming up next week. Uh, both of them have been racing well, but both of them were not fluid in, in three races now. Uh, Irish Ray, uh, he's going to race next week. He'll race sometime next week. They pick up Saturdays from the Meadows from now on. Amy was just telling me she was excited about that. How they pick up Saturdays now, but it was good news. We were done at what 11 o'clock today, yeah. But we have to move here, yeah. Every other weekend, we have it can't be there in here every time, but it is what it is. Um, so Irish Ray will race, I think, next Thursday at the Meadows. Wednesday, I don't think we'd end the inner, so Wednesday's good. Train all babies or all the three year olds on Wednesday and one or the other. I'm not going to the Meadows on Wednesday, I don't believe, the way it's shaking out. Uh, Kenobi continues to race good. He's in again Saturday or Sunday this week, I believe. No, he was second. He was second the other day. He raced really good. Now he's bouncing around a bit. I think he raced the other day. No, I know. The day we won two, he was second. Uh, Spitfire Overseas is in eight hole. Did they give me eight hole? I didn't look into that. If he was hand assigned or not, Which, by the time you guys hear this, I'll know, so it's not a big deal. But Spitfire Overseas is in with the eight hole at uh, Miami Valley on Monday. On Monday, um, stay special. Now, a huge update on stay special. This filly has had her problems with her knees. There's a line in her knee right now, and quite frankly, it may have been there for a bit. She is tough. Jason jogged through the other day and see she's a little more sore than she was before. You know, we always had her in the, the water machine. And, you know, took her time, though, shocked her, took good care of her knees, best we could. And uh, he said Monday, following her win last week, she was a little more sore. They x rayed it, and there was a line in there. I'd say it's been in there for, for a little while. And she's just so tough. We decided, uh, we decided to breed, stay special. You know, I'm not a big, let's, we got more brood mares than I thought we would have, or maybe that we should have, but um, 
I'm always going to lean towards wanting the horses that are tough and, and fast. And even Jason said, who has no interest in breeding horses, I'm sure, even he said uh, the other day when we found out about her knee, he said, man, um, he said, if I was going to breed uh, a mare, a pacing mare, it, it would be that one. You know, she's fast. You know, she took a mark of 54 when her when her knees were hurting her last year. And then just to go out, win in 54 at Mohawk once or twice. She won in 57, then she won in 54. And then I was trying to be real careful with her first start in Northfield. You know, sloppy track, 28 seconds on the end of it, and just screaming past them to win. Just a tough, a tough mare. So uh, the reason we chose Monty Mickey for her was she's by Stay Hungry, who's by Some Beach Somewhere. That really, Some Beach Somewhere, that line is all over the place. It's not, there's a, not a ton of horses to choose from. And rather than go to Always Be Mickey himself for Pennsylvania, we chose his son, Monty Mickey, in Ohio. So Stay Special will be bred uh, to Monty Mickey. And we'll join our brood bears. We'll try and make some some lemonade out of uh, out of some lemons. She only had one more, what I would say, an easy win in that class, and then it was going to get quite a bit tougher for her. Um, it's too bad though. I, she's such a sweet horse to drive. Um, next, Tactical Mounds qualified great. She is now in the care of Megan Scran. For those of you, I want everybody to pay attention. If you are an owner of of Tactical Mounds, one of our partners on Tactical Mounds, please make sure you have your licensing for everywhere. And what I mean by everywhere is definitely New Jersey, New York, because obviously with such an impressive qualifier and such a kind of watered down mares division all over, you're racing for a lot of money at Yonkers and it would make a lot of sense that you'd show up once in a while at Yonkers. So as of right now, today, I would say looking at her stake schedule, she's supposed to visit. Uh, New Jersey, New York, Ontario, um, Ohio. There's a race in Ohio, I think, for her later in the season. Just pay close attention to her. We can send you her calendar, but make sure you're aware. For the foreseeable future, right now, please ensure that you are licensed in New Jersey and New York in particular for right now, if you don't mind. Uh, Tech Song Soprano, a winner the other day. He just keeps winning this guy. Race great again. A winner at Yonkers Raceway for Scott Zeron. All gas, no brakes. Is back jogging now, so uh, it shouldn't take too long to get this guy back in uh, in the swing of things. Uh, a little frustrated with that break he made in his last start, but and, and he could have could have injured himself. He just put a cut in his, on his ankle that was in a bad place, and we were just being super careful with him. So we stitched it and gave him some time. He'll be back going soon enough. Um, greatest ending. Uh, raced great his first start free legged for us his second start not so great we scoped him after and he had quite a bit of blood in there so we had to put him back on Lazex he had the week off last week as the Meadows was down but he'll be racing this coming Saturday I believe is when his class goes next Saturday a week from tomorrow um, JK Victory is training great Jason has been floored by how well he's getting over Northfield which is a feather in our cap Actually, it does actually open up some possibilities. You know, I'm looking at if if he's going to have a much more fluid and comfortable gait, there's a big gaping hole in Oak Grove also, aside from Indiana with Ron Burke. So there's a lot going on with this guy, a lot more than we thought we were. I thought it was just going to be train him down until he was not super comfortable training in Northfield, gallop him a few times and send him out to qualify in Indiana. But from what I'm hearing from Jason McGinnis, he's getting over Northfield very good. Now, I don't have much interest in racing him there see what happens, but uh, he has been thoroughly pleased with the way he is training back. So we'll see how that plays out. Some some paths that I did not think were going to be open and available to us that very well may. Um, looks like money is in to go Monday. We've been long awaited, right? And as I said, that time he had to miss while that series was underway in Ontario may have done him some good because it got us to, to really start to we got some stronger miles under on our terms to train him down in. So he's had a couple of miles in 55 as we head into this first start back at Mohawk. So that may have been a feather in our cap. We'll see how that plays out in the near future. Renegade Gypsy continues to race good in Ohio. Very rarely, and he's in Indiana now, very rarely he'll throw like a, a bad race down. I think he was six two weeks ago. But I, Devin Tharps had come up to me. He was the one that drove him when he won. He said, man, what a, he raced good. He said, really handy horse to drive. 
So a good job by him and a good job by the horse. Series Dragon should be schooling soon, I would imagine. Um, I guess this video is... He did school. Serious Dragon did? Yeah. Oh. There you go. Now you know. Hi, Addy Bear. So, uh, I'm waiting for my information here from my wife. She's really slow getting it to me. I'm just looking at the... Is it a result or... turning my video off. I'm waiting for you. Are you just about to tell me he did school or you know how I fast think he went? did. No, I have no idea. Oh, well, no, I, why do I care if you're looking up there? Um, so Serious Dragon school today, apparently. No, I didn't say today. Well, today is when they be schooling. Today. Oh. So I will get the information from, uh, I know Dominic was schooling uh, George of the George of the Jungle. Yeah, George of the Jungle. And it sounds like Harry was schooling uh, Serious Dragon, so we'll see how they play out. Uh, today, I'll have that in your opening because I am going to talk to Harry tomorrow morning about the horses and how they're going. So today, you're just going to have to wait. Serious Dragon is pretty well ready to go, it sounds like things. Uh, Three-point blue chip, a bit of a rough start back for him in, in such a manner that uh, they've decided to move him down to Oak Grove to race in uh, race in Southern Kentucky. Um, it's Southern Kentucky, right? Yeah, Southern Kentucky. Western. Is it Western? I don't know in the warm part of Kentucky down by Tennessee is where he's racing. Uh, Race for Landing is in with him this week. Now, as I said in the opening uh, the opening part of this video, I, I was eager when Julie had said, hey, we're going to race him down there. Do you want to drive him? I said, sure, if you want me to. Uh, it never dawned on me that he would be racing against Race for Landing, so my bad. Um, maybe yeah, maybe you did, yeah. Uh, Yo, Mister, a winner on Monday. We'll see how... Uh, he bounces back, but he's back in to go Monday in a good class again. I'm happy that we're able to race him there and keep, it uh, looks like, money in the open, and hopefully they won't end up too many times in together, but uh, I guess he'd have to win again to get there, so we'll see how that is. Um, no Free Lunch is supposed to be training this week. He's supposed to be ready to go, I believe, in about two weeks. He is maybe three from what uh, Stacey was saying. Listen, I'll be the first to admit it. I'm to all my partners with no free lunch. This is this is what happens. It's very, it's very hard to. Uh, it's very problematic sometimes to completely get the horses rehab and then get them racing, and then you're always on pins and needles, right? Hoping that they don't re-injure or get sore somewhere else. And until we get to a place where we can one mitigate everything and two manage everything properly, we're doing our best to get him into a place where he's more comfortable. And it's. I'll be the first to admit, it's been troubling, it's been trying, but we are doing our best, and he should be back, I believe, back in, uh, let's say, three weeks. Um, what's that? You just made that up. That's handy. Uh, stay Close will race next week also. Oh, my God, this thing's annoying. Stay Close will race next week also um, at uh, the Meadows. Just got him back into the field, and he got another week, uh, a week of free prep as the Meadows was down, which certainly wouldn't have hurt him any. Um, my biggest concern, as I said to Tim, and I knew this, when we turned him out, he ran the fence line and lost a couple of pounds, but that's just him playing. He plays hard as he races sometimes. and uh, They've had another week or 10 days to put some weight on him, so I, I hope that they've been able to do that. They jumped over some the Oakwood Cowboy. Dominic said he's jogging good, so it does look like he's, his foot was sore. He said he's not 100%, but he's getting there. He called him 90% when I talked to him the other day, So, and he's been improving. So I hope that means he's somewhere around 95, or close to 100 today and tomorrow. So I'll know more when I get to Ontario um, for tomorrow morning. Kings County, I thought, huge step forward for this guy. You know, we always have the same concerns. When the horses start to get a little older, are they sliding a little bit? Are they starting? And there's nothing wrong with that, but how do you manage? It's tough to manage a horse because you're... See what she did there. She's, I see what she did there. Uh, I'll talk to her. So uh, I, I see what you did there. It's very funny. Well, so see me. Kings County. Um, oh my God. Whew. Kings County uh, raced well, very good the other day at um, Oak Grove. 
in, in fact, I suspect, I guess, now that I say it out loud, maybe even better than I thought he would because I had left him in the two hole. It wasn't like I could I could wiggle away out quicker, but I could have been a little more assertive in the last turn and maybe, and maybe forced my way out a little bit more, and I didn't. Um, I did down the lane, and he ended up coming through to be third. And very, very happy with his race and probably looking for a bigger race from him this week. I might be a little more assertive this week with with Kings County, so we'll see how that is. Uh, Delicious Stone DK is back going now. He should be ready to go in about 10 days, I think. Uh, very happy with the way things are going with him. And Patrick the Piranha continues to race good all winter, all spring, winter long, all year long. Um, got a week off last week, same as everybody at the Meadows did, and he'll be back in action this coming Friday, I assume. So with that, those are all of your racehorses, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. About the, no, for not, yeah, I just talked about it for like two minutes. I was looking for Serious Dream. Were you in a coma? No, I was looking for Serious Dream. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll talk to you all very soon. I hope you have a, what a What a horrible day it is in Buffalo. A weird, very weird day in uh, Northfield. All the weather we got this morning. I hope wherever you are, you have better weather. I hope you have a great weekend, and I will talk to you all very soon. Take care.